In the heart of Nairobi, where the city's pulse beats with both life and darkness, there exists a hidden underbelly, a realm where shadows stretch longer than the equatorial sun. It's a place where secrets fester, and the ghosts of history refuse to rest. The night descends upon the city like a shroud, and the neon glow of streetlights casts eerie halos around the desperate souls who roam its streets. The air smells of diesel fumes, sweat, and something more sinister, an ancient malevolence that clings to the concrete and seeps into the cracks of forgotten alleyways. Ngugi Wa Thayongo, the venerable storyteller, once whispered to me in a dimly lit bar near the railway station. His eyes held the weight of decades, and his voice carried the echoes of rebellion. Listen, he said leaning closer. Nairobi is a city of contradictions. It's a symphony of sirens and church bells, of skyscrapers and tin-roofed shanties. But beneath it all, there lies a darkness, a hunger. And so, I delved into the stories of Nairobi, guided by the flickering candlelight and the clinking of glasses. Here are the tales they dared not speak aloud. The City Park Cemetery. A forgotten corner of Nairobi, where tombstones lean like drunken sentinels. Here lies Pio Gama Pinto, the martyr of independence, gunned down in cold blood. His restless spirit wanders the graves, seeking justice. They say he whispers secrets to those who dare to listen, secrets that could shake the very foundations of the nation. The city mortuary. A place where the dead arrive, but not all depart. The mortuary's walls hold memories of unspeakable horrors, unclaimed bodies, victims of violence, and the occasional apparition. The mortuary attendants speak of cold fingers brushing against their skin, of muffled cries echoing through the refrigerated chambers. Some nights, the corpses rise from their slabs, their eyes hollow and accusing. The abandoned high-rise. A skeletal tower stands half-finished, its steel girders reaching for the heavens. Construction halted abruptly, they say, when the workers vanished without a trace. Now, the building is a breeding ground for nightmares. Those who venture inside hear footsteps on empty floors, see flickering lights in shattered windows. The bravest souls claim to have glimpsed shadowy figures dancing on the rooftop, their laughter echoing across the city. The underground tunnels. Beneath Nairobi's bustling streets lie forgotten tunnels, a labyrinth of darkness. They were once used by colonial powers to transport goods and secrets. Now they harbor something else. The homeless speak of a subterranean society, a tribe of lost souls who feast on rats and whispers. They say the tunnels lead to places beyond imagination, where time folds in on itself and reality blurs. The Midnight Matatu. The Matatu, a minibus taxi, hurtles through the night, its graffiti-covered exterior a riot of colors. But this particular Matata follows no route, serves no passengers. Its driver wears a tattered conductor's uniform, his eyes hollow. Those who board find themselves trapped, hurtling through a twilight zone. The other passengers, phantoms, murderers, and saints sit in silence, their faces obscured. The Matatu hurtles toward an unknown destination, its wheels screeching against the asphalt. Nairobi Noir, a collection of stories etched in blood and ink. Each tale a warning, a lament, a celebration of the city's twisted soul. As dawn breaks, the hunters and herders emerge, their footsteps echoing through the haunted streets. And the hunted. They linger, their shadows stretching into eternity. Note, the stories above are a blend of fiction and whispers from Nairobi's darkest corners. Whether you believe them or not, tread carefully when the moon hangs low over the city. For Nairobi is more than just a metropolis, it's a living, breathing enigma. This is the Nairobi Fame TV, where we bring you the latest, trending, and urban news in Nairobi, Kenya, and from around the world. Subscribe and stay tuned for more.